Okay, so now I want to show how the honeybee, this is stringless honeybee, how they are helping in pollination of wax gold. You can see this is the female flower. So this honeybee, you can see this is the male flower. So here is another honeybee. So they are collecting the nectar at the same time. The pollen is attaching with the legs or in the, in the whole bodies and this see the same honeybee is already came to the female flower. And this is the white color, the stigma. You see, this is the stigma. And this is the pollen, the anther. So from the anther, the honeybee is collecting the pollen and when she or he is sitting on the stigma, so they are helping in the pollination. So you can see this is the female with the ovary. And this beside this another male. No ovary is here. So this is the male flower. This is the male flower. This is the this is you can see. This is the anther with you see the huge white colored pollen is here. And huge numbers of honeybees here. They are helping in the pollination. You see already set the fruit, so this is very important. This fruit is already set. You see. This is one fruit. This is very small. You see the several fruit is already here. You can see this is the very big, about to mature. This is the very soft and succulent one. This one. This is with the trellis over the roof in my village, in my village home. So this is entirely covered with the wax gold. You can see. So this is actually the natural hybridization being conducted by honeybee and even other different types of flies they help for that. See here is another one small wax gold, you see this one. Yeah, this one. So this looks nice. Huh? The flower is especially in uh, the morning, eh? so in the early morning, the flower is open if the day is clear. If the day is sunny, uh, admit that means cloudy, then they should take to take some time to open. So, this is about the natural pollination by honeybee. There is huge number of male flowers and only limited number of female. You see, this is the honeybee is just flying this is male you can see this is the male this is beside the same plant this is female so when you see that frequently several honeybees they are flying from one flower to another flower they are collecting the nectars and finally helping in the pollination so this is the entire natural hybridization I always I try to make it clear when the flies, honeybees or any other insect they help in pollination, this is natural hybridization as they are monoecious. Male and female flower is totally different. Eh? This is male without any ovary, you can see. This is female with ovary. The ovary is clearly seen here. But if we do that, any breeders or any scientists, then with control, because before opening we have to before blooming, that means opening the flower, we have to bag it on the before. Then next morning, like like that time, it is about 9, 9.30. So that time we have to open and we have to collect the male flower with pollen. And we have to touch on the stigma for the controlled hybridization. So this is the two variation. Eh? This is for, for completely open. So this is called open hybridization by the insect pest. And what we are doing is controlled by the tagging, bagging, everything with the following the breeding procedure. This is called the artificial hybridization. If we want to maintain that seed uh, for the parental lines, as a pure parental lines for the, for the later research or the hybridization activities. If open, that we cannot say this is uh, controlled. Just for consumption purpose, we cannot keep the seed from here. But if you want to keep, firstly we need to ensure that the male and female is previously selected and we have to go through the controlled hybridization. Okay, that's all about the natural and controlled hybridization in wax gold.